over a year. Dan Geltrude is an adjunct professor at Montclair State University in New Jersey, and he's with us now. Dan, um, I, I asked myself this question. Uh, my rates have gone up for no reason. Again, just another demerit on Joe Biden's record, I guess. People are paying more money for everything with Joe Biden in the Oval Office. But why are rates going up right now? Well, this is one of those things, a, a, a hidden inflation cost that isn't getting enough attention. So why is this happening? One, the repair time for cars is taking longer, which means that people have to rent cars for a longer period of time. And we already know that car rentals are up. So that's all part of increasing those costs. There's also been more accidents reported over the last year. So again, everybody ends up bearing that burden. Now, when these things happen, the effect is, is that there becomes an increase in uninsured drivers because people who simply can't afford the insurance, well, they got to get to work, they got to do things, they got to travel, they drive without insurance. So it's a very dangerous situation to have this happen. Yeah, that's a fascinating point. Uh, not good news all relating back to this. And if you've got drivers on the road, perhaps some are driving to the nearest drive through of Chick-fil-A, which is in the news. Uh, the restaurant now backtracking from its no antibiotics in chickens pledge. Get this, Chick-fil-A saying they're going to shift to a new policy in the spring. It's because of concerns they can have enough antibiotic, antibiotic-free chicken. Uh, rather, that they don't have enough of that. So they got to deal with these supply shortages, Dan. Talk to us about what's going on here with Chick-fil-A. Well, this is exactly uh, what the situation is. There's going to be a shortage of supply because there's simply not enough chickens that are uh, antibiotic-free. So the reason why companies are, are who supply the chickens are using antibiotics is because they actually make livestock grow faster, which means it's more profitable. Now, the downside of this is, is that there, there are some studies out there that says that this reduces the effectiveness for antibiotics in humans. So it, it, it becomes a dangerous situation. So... Um, Although Chick-fil-A was on board to say, hey, no antibiotics ever, they're changing positions simply because they can't get enough supply of antibiotic-free chicken. So time to change the policy and their labeling as well. Yeah, that's a great point. Again, the demand is so high, especially on Monday. Maybe you've been craving it after a Chick-fil-A free Sunday. <laughs> mm -hmm. Dan Geltrude, thanks for coming on today. Appreciate it. Thank you.